Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Gaysford and in this video we're going to go back into Home Assistant and we're actually going to be looking at automations in Home Assistant. Doing automations in Home Assistant are actually easier than ever so we're not going to be jumping into the nitpicky everything you can do with automations. The purpose of this video is to give you just a little bit more functionality in your day-to-day -day automations and give you a little bit more leverage when you're trying to do a few things. And in today's video, what we're going to be talking about is work days. And I don't like to call it work days. I like to use it as a day of the week tracker. Um, the Home Assistant doesn't really have a good way of scheduling automations for days of the week. It's something I've wanted for a long time, but it's just not something that's really there like Monday through Friday or just Monday, Tuesday of a week. It's not really an option. So a way to get around that is by using Workdays in the Home Assistant, and we're going to be jumping in and doing that in today's video. So definitely stick around. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. And if you like Home Assistant stuff, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here we are back in Home Assistant. As you can see, it's about what you would expect to see. As mentioned, we're going to be going ahead and installing this Workday configuration extension to our Home Assistant. And by doing so, it's actually going to give us access to set work days here. And so let's go ahead and start working through it. I will have the link for this down in the description down below if you'd like to read through it yourself, which you should probably do if you have a different country available to you besides what I'm doing in mine. You're not going to want to copy my configuration exactly, so just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and we're going to jump over to our file editor. This is where our configuration.yaml is. And then if yours opens up blank like this, just click the little file up here and then go to your configuration.yaml. Then all we're going to need to do is add a new binary sensor, which we're going to set to Workday. I'm not going to go ahead and copy this block, but if you scroll down, there's much better blocks that you can copy. This one is much more fitting to me. It has the binary sensor, the platform workday, country US, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, which is the automation days I'm actually looking for. Then it excludes Saturday and Sunday. So to me, this is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this guy right here. Come over to my configuration file. And I'm gonna just go ahead and throw this at the bottom of my file, just cause it doesn't really need to be at the top. So we'll go ahead and paste it there and then go ahead and press save and then make sure this green checkbox is good as far as formatting and everything like that goes. What I'm going to do instead of keeping this default comment in place is just in case I ever have any questions on this workday module in the future, I'm just going to go ahead and copy the URL and put it right here in this comment block. So that way I have a way to find it in the future. And I'm going to go ahead and press save here. And then we're going to need to restart. So I'm going to go to configuration, scroll down to server controls. We're going to check our configuration.yaml just to make sure everything is still valid, which it looks like it is. Then we're going to go ahead and restart our home assistant. All right, so our home assistant has rebooted, so we should be good to go ahead and start using that new integration as a binary sensor. And how we're gonna do that is just jump over to your configuration and then go into one of your automations. For me, I'm gonna go into this KC Wake Up Lights. Um, it's a very simple automation, but basically what it does is it wakes me up or it helps me wake up by turning on some bedroom lights I have but I don't want this to go off on the weekends so something I'm going to do is I'm going to add a conditional to this policy so I just set the name up here the mode is single I have a trigger of every day at 7 a.m. Um, and the action is the switch turn on and then it triggers my lights so we're going to add a condition right here and it's going to be based off the state of a sensor so if you just search for Workday Sensor, you should see this guy pop up here. If you go ahead and turn that on, um, the state we're looking for is we only want this to trigger if the Workday is on. And then go ahead and save that. And you don't necessarily have to just wait till the next day to make sure this is how your state should look. If you go over to your developer tools, 
go to here and search for your workday. You can see workdays and the state is on. And that's how we know that we're looking for today is the day today, the day that I'm recording this is on a Tuesday and so the state is on just like that. Then it is you can do more than just work days with this. You could actually go in and add custom holidays and the format looks like it's set to year, month, day. Um, so that way you can add a holidays where you don't want this to run like you know you're not going to work on certain days. You can go ahead and add holidays like this and you could also remove holidays like this. Um, this only works if you're including holidays though inside of your excludes here. And so if you are, so if you work a government job or anything like that where you're not going to be working holidays, you could go ahead and exclude it right here and you don't have to worry about it running on those days. All right, and that is how you do work days or days of the week inside of Home Assistant. Again, I'm using this for like a Monday through Friday, turn on the lights before I need to go to work type of automation, but you could get a little bit creative. You can have several work days that define several days of the week or whatever you need to do. But if you found this video useful, I would really appreciate you hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Let me know what you're doing with your automations that required um, this integration. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, I can't believe I'm still getting subscribers because I'm awful about releasing on a schedule. But everybody that's here and watching the videos, I appreciate you guys watching and sticking around. It means a lot to me. So just thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video.